Hi, my name is Bob Crosby with Bose Fitness Camps. Thank you for joining us on the Video Lab, where today we start to break it down. Making sure that the exercises that you do, even common exercises like squats and lunges and push-ups and pull-ups, are done correctly. Because when you put performance, how much weight you're using or how many reps you're doing, before form, how you're doing it, you're setting yourself up for trouble. Today we are going to look at the push-up. It's the granddaddy of all body weight upper body exercises. There are dozens of versions of the push-up, but regardless of which version you're doing, a modified version from your knees or the most difficult push-up, Spider-Man push-ups, incline push-ups, one-arm push-ups, your form has got to be spot on. Your hand should be placed directly in front of your shoulders on the ground. So if you're looking up at me from the ground, if you've got a worm's eye view, if you will, my hands should look like they're directly under my shoulders here. A few inches wider than shoulder width or a few inches narrower than shoulder width, depending on the muscles you're targeting, is perfectly fine. What I see are many people putting their hands out in front of their body. So they create an angle at the shoulder which puts undue stress on that joint. Another thing with the push-up is the position of the hips. The hips must travel an equal distance as the chest up and down. If you don't stabilize your hips, your core gets no value out of this great exercise. Your elbows should be positioned at your sides but not bent out wide. So if I put my back to you, this motion here is incorrect for the push-up elbows out at 90 degrees. It puts excessive stretch on the rotator cuff. Instead, your elbows should be held a little tighter to your rib cage. I like to call that 45 degrees down or 45 degrees closed toward the body. What that does is it puts your chest and your shoulders and triceps in the best position to exercise those three muscle groups, triceps, chest, and shoulders, with as little stress on the rotator cuff as possible. Let's get another view from the top. All right, to perform the perfect push-up, you want to start with your hands directly under your shoulders. If you place your hands a little wider than your shoulders, you'll bring more muscle action to the chest in front of the shoulder. If your hands are a little narrower than the shoulder, you're going to target your triceps or the back of your upper arm. So regardless of your hand position, let's make sure those arms are straight up and down hands directly under the shoulders. Bring your chest and your hips down together with your glutes and abs tight. Get your chest to the ground and drive all the way up till your elbows straighten but not locked. It's important that your hips come to the ground with your chest to keep your core engaged. Squeeze your glutes, that'll help you to stabilize your hips. I want to show you how to get the proper position to do a modified push-up or a beginner push-up. If you can't do five to six standard push-ups, this is the push-up you want to do. You start just like a standard push-up. Legs long, knees locked, hands directly under your shoulders. From this position, simply take your knees straight to the ground, lift your feet. Now you're in perfect position to do a set of perfect modified push-ups. The mistake people make is they start from their knees place their hands under their shoulders and now they're too tight. Their elbows have to move out to the side and their tails way up in the air. I mean this doesn't even look good, let alone feel good. So one more time, get into standard push-up position first. Then simply bring your knees straight to the ground so the knee is behind the hips. Now your hips come to the ground with your chest and you've done a perfect push-up. So that's the perfect push-up. Hand shoulder width, core tight, Hips and chest travel to the ground and up in one line. I'm Bob Crosby with Bose Fitness Camps. Do work.